So imagine we have three observers, A, B, and C. In the frame of reference of A, observer B is traveling rightward at a speed of 0.8 times the speed of light C. Observer C is traveling leftward at a speed of 0.9 times the speed of light. So, according to observer B, observer A is traveling leftward at a speed of 0.8 C. But what about observer C? Well, common sense might tell us that the new speed is 1.7 C, since that's 0.9 C plus 0.8 C. But we know this can't be right, since nothing can travel faster than light. Well, as it turns out, in special relativity, velocity addition works a little differently. And we can work this out with our Lorentz transformation equations, where v is the velocity of the frame described by x prime and t prime with respect to the frame described by x and t. So first of all, we know that the velocity u is equal to the derivative of position over time. So now we just have to find an expression for u prime given values for u and v. And from here, it's just algebra. So we know that dx prime by dt prime equals this expression here. So if we just cancel out the gammas and differentiate both the top and bottom expressions with respect to t, we get this equation here. Now we recognize that dx by dt is equal to u and dt over dt is just one. So we arrive at this expression for u prime. Now this expression is valid when we measure uv and u prime along the same axis. However, if we take v to be the speed of the observer in the opposite direction to u, then we just have to minus the v terms to get our final velocity addition equation here. So using this, we can see that the speed of our third observer is not 1.7c, but 0.99c.